Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now, it's been quite a while since I did a video of my own truck on the channel. And as you guys can see, I've had some fun with it recently. It's pretty filthy and there's quite a bit of mud on it. So I figured it was a good time to get the Raptor spring cleaned now that our roads are dry. So let's take a look at the truck. Okay guys, so like I said, I've had the Raptor out a couple times recently to have a little fun and play in the mud. So the wheel wells are completely stuffed full of dried up mud. And of course, there's a fair bit of mud on the underside of the truck too. And then driving around during the spring melt here a little while ago has the rest of the truck covered and caked on dirt as well. But moving inside and this is where the real disaster is. No, I'm just kidding. It's not all that bad, but it is probably the dirtiest that it's ever been. So it definitely needs some attention. But just before we dive into all the mud, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I post a new video every week, so if you've got the bell on, you won't ever miss out on one. All right guys, well I can't wait to get started and to finally be driving a clean truck again. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. All right, well, I really can't even tell you how excited I am to get to work on the truck today, as even though it's a ton of fun taking it off-road and getting it dirty, it's almost cathartic for me to get it pressure washed and clean today. And you can be sure I'll be getting every single speck of dirt and mud off the truck. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video so you can see just how insane it looks when I'm done. And there's even a mic cameo you don't wanna miss. Starting on these super muddy wheel wells now and with the mud having sat for a few days it's really stuck on so it definitely took a bit of time to get it all off probably close to five minutes for each wheel well and it was quite the challenge to not get hit by the spray back but i managed okay and i only got nailed in the face a couple of times Moving to the tailgate now, and I figured I'd give you guys some background on the truck. So if you aren't aware, it's a 2019 Ford Raptor, and I bought it in December of 2019. So I've had it for about 15 months now, and it just rolled over 10,000 kilometers the other day, which is about 6,200 miles. So obviously I don't do a whole lot of driving, but when I do, the truck is an absolute blast to drive. And if any of you want to see it in action, 
I've done a couple other videos here and on the second channel where there's some mudding footage as well, so be sure to give those a look. Moving to the rear wheel well now, and I figured I'd mention again, just in case you haven't seen a video for a couple of weeks now, that you can now become a member of the channel, which if you decide to join, can get you exclusive access to the members only community tab, where I post sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff, among other things, exclusive members only discount codes for merch and Detail Geek Auto Care, or even early access to new videos. So if that sounds intriguing to you, there should be a big join button right below this video you guys can check out. And Mike also wanted me to tell you that he loves seeing his emoji get used, so keep it up. Moving to these big KO2 tires, and you can probably see there's a little bit of blooming on them. So what the pressure washer doesn't get off, my tire brush will get a little bit later on. And then for inside the barrel of the wheel, I'll make sure to get in close with the pressure washer and do a quick visual check to make sure I've got every bit of dirt and mud out. Moving up to the front wheel wells, and because these have plastic liners in them, it definitely makes it a little easier to spray out as the mud isn't quite as stuck on, but I'm still taking my time and really spraying things off well. And if you're wondering about the process here, I'm simply working my way top down as I usually do. So once I've gone around the whole truck, I'll then turn my attention to the underside and all the suspension components. Moving up to the front end, and for those two holes in the bumper there, I've actually got some fog lights on order that I'll be putting in there, so later on in the summer when I take the truck back out to the mud again, you guys will get to see its new look.
Now, one of the nice things about the design of this truck is that I have really good access to spray off underneath the truck, including the front skid plate, which actually had a fair bit of mud on the top side of it. So rather than using my undercarriage sprayer right now as I usually would, I'm starting with the pressure washer as I need to be able to vary the angle that I'm spraying at and in a lot of cases get in really close, which is not something I can do with the undercarriage washer. Though I will use it for the sides and then I'll follow up with the pressure washer to get anywhere that may have been missed. Though if you're wondering where you can get one of the undercarriage washers, the link to it along with nearly every other product and tool I use is in the description for you. They come with a standard quarter inch quick connect coupler so they can hook up to most pressure washers very easily. All right, moving back to the tires now and to get the remaining blooming off the tires, I'll spray on some wheel and tire cleaner and will agitate with my Detail Geek Contoured Tire Brush, which in my opinion is the best tire brush on the market as the bristles are nice and stiff and the contour allows you to easily get every part of the tire. So if you're wondering where you can pick one of them up or the soft wheel brush, well, they're available at detailgeekautocare.com where worldwide shipping is available. All right, with the Raptor painted white with thick foam, I'm going around with my Detail Geek Boar's Hair Detail Brush to get into all the places my wash mitt will miss, especially up on the hood vent as dirt loves to collect in the crevices. But the brush also works especially well for honeycomb grills, so if any of you out there are looking for a set of high quality detail brushes, I'm hoping to have them back in stock by late April or early May. Moving on to the wash stage, and for my own truck, I use CarPro Reset Soap as it's formulated for use on ceramic coatings. And as you know, I always use grit guards in both my wash and rinse bucket, and also have a dedicated wash mitt that's only used on my truck.
starting on drawing the truck now and I had a feeling that Mike would get his butt off the couch today and come and give me a hand because I know how much he loves using these ultra plush drying towels. So if you've been waiting to get your hands on one as well, well rest assured you won't have to wait much longer unless Mike buys them all on you guys. <laughs> Here's the massive pile of mud the Raptor left on the garage floor. And yes, this completely filled the drain pit, so there will be another garage cleanup video coming soon. And about 20 minutes later, and I've got the floor clean, and I can get started on the floor mats. And the process to get these clean is simple. Spray them off, agitate some 4 to 1 APC with my green drill brush, and then just blast them clean. All right, moving to the interior now, and as you guys saw in the opening, it's not terribly dirty in here, although I do have to admit this is the dirtiest the truck has ever been on the inside, so I'll start by getting all the loose debris sucked up with the vacuum. Moving to the carpet, and something you may find interesting about the Raptor is that the quality of carpet actually isn't all that great. I'd put it on the low end of mid-grade, whereas the 2018 F-150 I did a little while back actually has much nicer carpet, so that's very odd when you consider the different price points of the two trucks. Okay, now since the trim and seats only have a couple of dirt smudges, I'm simply wiping everything down with a damp microfiber towel as there's no need for anything more aggressive than that. And then I'll get to work applying 303 to all the interior plastic, but I won't be conditioning the leather today as it's all ceramic coated.
Okay, with the inside clean, it's time to use CarPro Reload, which is a silica spray sealant that will boost the ceramic coating on the truck. And it's something I do every couple of months to maintain the coating. And if you saw any of the previous videos, you'd know I used CarPro C-Quartz UK 3.0, which typically lasts about one to two years. Although in the case of my truck, I'm expecting it will last a bit longer than that. And then I also coated the wheels and exterior plastic trim with CarPro Deluxe. Now, one of my favorite things to do on my truck is dress the tonneau cover with 303's aerospace protectant because it makes it look so incredibly good and it really is the best product to dress final covers like this. Now for the tires, I'm using the usual CarPro Pearl diluted roughly one to one and after spraying it on, I'll simply just wipe off the overspray off the rims. And in case you're wondering, I typically just let this air dry. Yet. I'm gonna fire up this pressure washer. He's always talking about how fun it is. Let's see. Was Mike out here? He was, wasn't he?
That's not where I left that. Mike! All right guys, well seven hours later and the Raptor is looking absolutely incredible again. Now, I might be biased, but that is a sweet looking truck. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one.